This robotic arm is being controlled not by a limb or computer, but by this woman's mind. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Got the whole thing. I think that might be cheating. 53 year old Jan Sherman has not been able to feed herself for almost 10 years after being paralyzed from the neck down due to a genetic disorder. But as a result of pioneering surgery, which involved microelectrodes being implanted into her brain, she's now able to control this robotic arm. I just can't stop smiling. It's so cool. I'm moving things. I have not moved things for about 10 years. The revolutionary device has been hailed a medical breakthrough. I wanted to be able to capture that natural, those natural features of movement from brain activity and this led to the idea that we could um, make this prosthetic and make sure that the prosthetic obeyed the rules of natural movement. So we just didn't have a machine moving, we had a device that let subjects express themselves. And that's what I was after and it's actually really nice to see that happen right now. The neurological procedure to implant the electrodes was a complicated one, but doctors say it went as smoothly as they could have hoped. I think that really I held my breath until she was out of the hospital and at the rehab hospital where we had the opportunity to hook her up, I think it was post-up day two, and um, we said, okay, now imagine wiggling your thumb. And of course we're all expecting to just hear fuzz, and instead what we hear is that rush of the neurons coming and then activating again for each time she imagines wiggling her thumb. After weeks of training, Jan learned to master control of the hand. I used to have to think up, uh, clockwise, down, forward, back. Now I just look at the target and Hector goes there. It's not a matter of thinking which direction anymore. It's just I want to do that and my brain knows what things to move to make that happen. She's now able to experience eating in a whole new way, and we're pretty sure that for her, chocolate never tasted so good. Check out Truth Loader. We're the home of citizen journalism online. We've got playlists on Syria and the recent Israel and Palestine conflict, and there's also a playlist of weirder stuff. We've also got a great new show called Truth Loader Investigates, which looks at the kinds of things you won't see on the mainstream news. And if that wasn't enough, we'll also be hosting live debates, which you can be a part of. Check out whatever you like, but the best way not to miss out is to subscribe.